So far, my standout moment has to be Seabass's performance. Um, he was outside of qualification going into Holly Eva. He made it through all the rounds, taking out the victory. And he didn't stop there. He backed it up at Sunset Beach, cementing his position on the world tour by taking third place. And now he's still going here at the Billabong Pipe Masters into the third round. So standout performance this year is definitely Sebastian Zietz. I don't know. He's one of those people I think when pressure gets put on him, he gets better. He's got that real go hard approach, you know, don't hold back tens or twos and you know when he pulls it off he pulls it off you know two finals and still in the pipe masters right now he's smoking fools certain contests you get to and you can just see that one guy's in tune his board looks right he's making the right decisions catching the right waves you know surfing them the way they need to be and he just done that three contests in a row it's just awesome to see someone you know who wins it who's just you know psyched out of his mind and you can see it on his face like a 10 year old kid in his head he just loves surfing and surfs all day and he surfs more than anybody around so that's why he's that's why he's doing so good just always doing something hilarious and see him surf down the beach all the boys carrying him up to the podium it's, it's pretty badass <laughs> let's hear it for sea bass right now Big and loud. He wins $100,000, a $10,000 Nixon watch. Yeah, coming into it, Triple Crown was, wasn't on my mind at all. That's, a, that's just like a dream that somehow came true. But um, yeah, going into it, I just really wanted to qualify. Just, um, it's been my goal ever since I started the QS like six years ago. So I've uh, been on that, that thing long enough. And um, yeah, I decided it was time to put my head down and do it. When he won Haliva, I said, that's about time. You know, this, this kid's that good. And, uh, if you see video sections of him, he's got every maneuver in the book. He's a good barrel rider. He has, he has a good carve on him. You know, he could easily be a top 10 contender right away. And, um, you know, he just needs to have that confidence. It looks like he found it at Triple Crown. Good job, buddy. After Haliva, I was just so stoked to qualify. That was my goal. And I was just looking at it like, even if I lose first heat in Sunset, I still have accomplished my goal. I guess that just kind of transferred into good surfing somehow, just having no pressure. And when Sunset Final came along, I was like, whoa, I actually might have a chance at the Triple Crown here. After Sunset, that's when the dream like started coming true. And it's definitely in the back of my head hearing that, like, oh, only two heats, and you need, you need to do it, you can make it, just two heats. But um, I really just look forward to just surfing in the Fight Masters, getting barreled out there when no one's out. It's, Every heat you make it is just another heat you get to surf out at Pipeline with one other guy out, so it's all just a reward. To me on that Triple Crown list, is, I don't know, I think I'm kind of out of place on that thing. <laughs> you look at every guy on that list and you're just like, wow, accomplishment. Like, every single guy on there has just accomplished so much, and I feel like I just kind of haven't accomplished much at all and just kind of burst it onto the scene, so um, yeah, hopefully this is just the start of better things and from here I can just build my career and actually earn the spot with all those names that are on that list. I'm Sebastian Zietz. This has been the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. It's been a wild ride. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Aloha.